Hi, I'm Leo Scrivener. It's my pleasure to welcome you to Cisco Live and welcome to our partners, customers, and also to Cisco employees. I have human resources responsibility for our services business and also for the Cisco Globalization Center East in Bangalore, India. And, and if we look at it, it's been uh, in operation for about a year. And if we back into the globalization strategy, it has three main components. They're around growth, innovation, and talent. So let's talk a little bit about the growth. I think most people understand that the GDP for developing or emerging countries is exceeding the GDP of developed economies since 2005. Uh, and we see that to happen in the near future, continue to happen that way. <clears throat> we talk about innovation. We also see uh, in the next decade, 500 million people will urbanize. And the implications from that, from a construction perspective, uh, it's anticipated that in countries like India, over 70 million people will open up a bank account in the next two years alone. That's bigger than France, Italy, the UK, three times the size of Australia, to put it in magnitude. Another example is, again, if we look at it, India, in March of this year, over 10 million phones were sold in one month alone. That's bigger than the entire stall base of the Netherlands. So if we look at the magnitude of the growth, what fuels that is our talent. And if we look at the networking space, we know that there's a shortage. That doesn't matter whose numbers you use, it's a huge gap. And as we look at the strategy for talent in the Globalization Center, it's around three main pillars. It's around attracting talent, and we want to make sure that we get top talent. And how do we create the pipeline for the right talent, especially from a networking perspective? How do we retain, deploy, and develop the right talent? And also, how do we engage our talent? On the engage piece, we want to be considered a best places to work. On the develop, retain, and deploy, we're starting to see a number of new different models. For example, we know that there's not enough talent in some of the areas that we need our talent. So you have an issue of supply and demand, and how do we meet that demand with a supply that in some cases is virtual? And as we start looking at that, there, we have a number of examples where we use Cisco <coughs> collaborative suite of tools to include WebEx and telepresence to meet that demand. In the example of uh, economic cities in Saudi Arabia, we have a small team on the ground. We have what we call a near shore in Dubai. We have far shore. And at the end of the day, there's still exceptionally good talent in the developed countries. We want to take advantage of that using our collaborative suite of tools. We also have offshore capabilities with employees, um, resources in India that we can deploy into multiple different engagements and also use IntellePresence. So again, welcome to Cisco Live and thank you for watching this video. Should you have any questions or comments or ideas on how we can close the gap in different ways, using our collaboration tools or virtualization, please leave it on the blog.